Last summer, 32 people died when a series of gas explosions rocked Kaohsiung. The incident placed attention on the petrochemical pipelines that run underneath the city. The local government was particularly upset at the many companies that have factories in the city but are domiciled elsewhere. And now Kaohsiung has drafted controversial legislation to change this. When speaking about the gas explosions, Mayor Chenju could not help but show strong emotion. Her city has drafted an autonomous statute that would require petrochemical companies to domicile their head offices in Kaohsiung or stop using their pipelines in the city. The Kaohsiung city government's position is that for the safety of our residents, we cannot wait any longer for petrochemical pipeline management. I believe that this article, which seeks to restrict where companies can be domiciled, could be unconstitutional. There is another belief that the Kaohsiung city government is seeking money. If companies move their head offices to Kaohsiung, business sales in the city would increase. Based on the central government's formula for allocating tax funds, it would then receive more money. Enterprises must all be established in safe locations. I believe this is unrelated to the allocation of tax revenues. Unequal allocation of revenues between the north and the south is a different matter. There are currently 89 petrochemical pipelines in Kaohsiung. Only three petrochemical corporations have their head offices there.